Welcome back to Box Delights and welcome to the Fleet Commander Nimitz playthrough. We're entering the battle phase. We've got four battles to resolve. And I think we're going to start with the one that's closest to home, here at the Gilbert Islands. The first step is going to be to move all of the forces here to the battle map. We can put a placeholder marker here to show where the battle is occurring. First we've got to move the US forces in here, so let's put the Japanese forces off to one side for now. We've got two cruisers and one transport of infantry. If we had any carriers they'd have to stay in the US Ocean. For cruisers they can go in the US Ocean or the coastal area. I'm going to put both in the coastal area in support of this transport of infantry. We don't have any forces already on the island. The Japanese do. They're here in the foxholes. If we had any aircraft, they'd be here on the US airfields. The Japanese have got one carrier and one destroyer. The carriers are going to stay out in the Japanese ocean area. In addition, the first escort we have is going to stay and escort that carrier. If we had another escort, he would go into the coastal area. Carrier Hiryu also is going to bring some carrier air groups with it. It's class CV carrier so it's going to bring one A6M, a D3A, a B5M. So we take these from here and you place these carrier craft next to their carrier. The next step is to roll to see how many battle turns we have. We rolled a 9, so it's going to be 4. Now we have to determine the Japanese battle plan draws. How many draws do they get? These are our battle plans. So remember, these are our tactical decisions that can be made. We don't include transports or carrier based aircraft, we just count the number of units. So it's 1, 2, and then th 3, 4. Two infantry, two ships. This chart tells us that one to four forces present is only one battle plan. I'll place this market here to remind us. Now we get to select our battle plans. We get three battle plan points to spend, and we can get an additional three for every point of supply we spend. Now, unfortunately, we spent all our supplies, so we don't get any more to add, so we're stuck with just three. These are your battle plans, and these are the costs of the battle plans. Um, so, an anti-aircraft attack success inflicts one extra hit, costs two battle plan points. Remember, we've got three to spend. With a marked lack of aircraft, I'm going to take anti-aircraft, it costs one, and triple A. Now we have to draw the Japanese battle plan. We're just going to take one randomly from this cup. It is no contact, no attacks in Japan Ocean. I'll just place this aside. Normally now we'd be moving US aircraft, but instead we're jumping to the Japanese bombers. We don't have any aircraft. These two are bombers, and this is a fighter. Anything with these square square numbers, yeah, they're, they're bombers. These are dogfight values for their fighters. So we're going to treat these as two separate groups, a fighter group and a bomber group. We're moving the Japanese bombers right now. So let's roll a die for the Hiryu bomber group. So number two. Any area that doesn't have a US target, there aren't any US planes here, uh, moves to the next highest area. So these are moving into the island area, which is a roll three to five. This is a roll of one to two. Coastal area is a roll of six. As it stands though, there's no US targets on the island either. So they're going to move to the next zone up, which is 
It's three to five for the island. Coastal. Now we consider the fighters. Now normally you'd be rolling the die to see which area they would go and offer their support. Uh, but it would be areas where there's US planes because they've only got dogfight values. There's no US planes, which means there's no valid area for them to target. They're just going to stay on the aircraft carrier. Let's just remove them from the battle map. They'll be playing no part. Now we start combat. The Japanese battle plan is not going to do anything. It says no contact in the Japanese ocean. All right, that means that US aircraft and subs can't be attacking in the Japanese ocean area, but we don't have any, so that's not really going to do anything. Um, but obviously my, my tokens can help me. Let's start then. Dogfights would come first. That's aircraft v aircraft. There aren't any, so now we're going to move to the anti-aircraft. And we've got two bombers here and my cruisers. Now remember, this is the anti-aircraft value, this higher number. Okay, ground to air, two. I need to roll a two or lower to get one hit. Note two, I can only roll as many attacks as there are aircraft. So if I have more than two ships here, I could still only roll for two anti-aircraft attacks because there's only two aircraft. If there was only one aircraft here, even with my two ships, I could only attack once. I'd have to choose which anti-aircraft fire to roll. So let's roll for Chicago and Northampton first. That's an eight, that's no good. Now let's roll for San Francisco, Astoria. A six, no good. I've got my anti-aircraft here, so I'm gonna roll an extra. Let's try again. Oh yes, and this time we get a one. This token's gonna get discarded. And I'm also gonna use my AAA. Uh, to get one extra hit. So that's two hits on one of these aircraft. You have to allocate your hits to the lowest cost aircraft first. These are both cost two, so I can choose whether I want to take out this bomber or this bomber. This one's more effective against ships, this one more effective against infantry. I'm going to try and take this one out first. So the first hit flips it, the second hit destroys it. Next are the bomb runs. So they've only got one bomber left now. He's going to attack our ships. We've got three. Any hits on the transport will be hits on this infantry. When we're attacking the sea, we use the blue square. If we're attacking land-based forces, then it'll be the number in the brown square. Either way, it's a four. Let's roll for them. They've got a three. It's a hit. Again, it's lowest cost first, so one of my cruisers transports cost four. So San Francisco Astoria takes the hit. Submarines use torpedoes, and then our ships use depth, depth charges to attack submarines. There aren't any subs around, so we're moving straight onto the naval guns. All naval battles happen simultaneously. So they fire their guns, we fire our guns, we keep a track of how many hits we've got. And then you apply the hits. Now as it goes, they don't have any any ships in the coastal area, so there's nothing going to be attacking us. So we've got a choice. We've got two ships here. We can attack anything in the coastal area. We can we can also attack inland. We can bomb inland but only if we've got friendly land-based forces there, which we don't. So we're going to be attacking his transports. Chicago Northampton is going to hit on a 4 or less. San Francisco Astoria now on a 2 or less. So let's do for Chicago first. We've got a 5, so he misses. And now for San Francisco, we're looking for a 2. We got a 2. We got our hit. Remember, we don't damage the actual transport, we damage the infantry that it's carrying. You'll notice that their attack value now is reduced to zero, so although they're still there taking, taking wounds, taking damage, taking hits, they're not a very potent <laughs> fighting force. We would normally have the infantry phase now of attacking, but 
there's only Japanese infantry ashore, so they've got no one to attack, and they can't attack anything other than other infantry. So that ends the combat, and we move into the infantry advance. The infantry on transports are going to move to the beaches. And then the transports are removed from the field of battle. Now this is good. We're trying to move our forces up into those foxholes. And this is really critical. I wish I'd brought some marines now. Because we've got to take Gilbert Islands. We've got to hold Gilbert Islands. We've got to have our infantry dug in and defeating that Japanese infantry. Next we return aircraft and we inflict airfield losses and then we advance the battle turn counter. As it goes in the aircraft are based, there is a carrier still in operation and now we advance the battle turn. We now go back to the top of the order which is drawing Japanese battle plans. We don't get to get any more so we've got to make ours count. So they're going to draw one. This one is Submarine Warfare, plus 4, plus 2 on Torpedo and Depth Charge Rolls. Okay, so that's not going to do anything. We're going to roll for the Japanese Bomber to see where they go. It's a 9. We should put them in the US Ocean, but of course there's nothing there. Instead of going up the order now, we have to look, because this is the top... Yeah, we can't get higher than a roll of a 10, so now we just look backwards uh, for the next available target. If you still can't find anything, they're going to go back to their carrier. So they're going to go back and target my cruisers. Once more, there's no dogfights, so it's anti-aircraft fire first. We've got one aircraft, two ships. Best value is a two, so we need a two or less. We've got no battle plans to help us this time. It's a three. Oh, just missed. Bomb runs. They're bombing the coastal area, so they're looking for a six or lower. It's a two. They've got their hit. Do we want to reduce this one or take the hit here? Let's take the hit here. Let's stay potent. We've got a long battle to go. If it was near the end of the battle, we're only halfway through, then I might take it here. Destroyed ships are removed from the game. No torpedoes nor depth charge so it's naval guns next. We need a four or less. We got the four. Okay, that's good. This time we do have friendly infantry ashore. Again it's just whatever has the lowest value here. So I can take out this one, or I can take out this one. I'm going to take out this one. Kind of rendering both sets of infantry a little useless now. Infantry in foxholes can attack, and only infantry in foxholes can attack, and they can only attack other infantry. So these would be attacking these, but they've got an attack value of zero. They can't roll zero or less. So instead we do the infantry advance. This battalion moves into the foxholes and these into the US foxholes. Aircraft returns a carrier and the battle turn advances. Let's draw for Japanese plans. We'll keep pushing on. We get screening ship stop one hit inflicted on a carrier. Let's roll to see where this bomb is going. It's a seven. So it would be here. There's nothing here, so back in the coastal area. We'll do our anti aircraft roll. We're looking for a two, remember? It's a one. We got our hits. We got our hits. So he's reduced. Bomb runs. We're looking for a three on this ship. That's the only target. Seven, he misses. Naval guns, four or less. Let's see what we can do. It's a three. We've got our hit. So we'll take out one of these battalions. These go back to the battalion box. Infantry now. Your bog standard battalions are not very strong at all. They've only got a one here. So we're looking for a roll of a one. 
an eighth. That's a miss. Okay, let's see. We're on the final battle turn. Battle plans. It is attack plan. Plus one on all rolls. Don't like that one. So that's plus one attack. It's um, on, on a subscript. A plus zero. Okay. Eight. So this uh, bomber's going back here again. That's the aircraft roll. We need a two. A nine is a miss. Bombing run. This time he needs a three, but with the plus one modifier, it's only a four. On my ship. So five. He misses. Okay, next is the naval guns. We're looking for a four to take out his infantry. It's a one. Done good. That battalion's out of here. And that ends the battle. Now we return all the forces back to where they came from. Obviously these carrier-based aircraft is just go back to the supply. All the Japanese orders go back in there and ours back to the supply. Now the good news here is, remember, these objectives and the rules about controlling. We hold an area if we have infantry or land-based aircraft ashore, which we do now on the Gilbert Islands. There's no Japanese infantry or land-based aircraft, and the area is in supply. We absolutely are. We connected directly to the Hawaiian Islands, so we've taken control. We now hold the Gilbert Islands. It doesn't matter that there's Japanese ships out here. The Gilbert Islands is now ours. And let's progress to the next battle. We've got to hold the Solomon Islands. And this is going to be a much bigger battle. They've got some infantry, the 48th, coming ashore. We've got the 1st Marine coming ashore. We've got a couple of escorts. We still don't have an aircraft carrier, but we do have two bomber groups. And you'll notice they have some submarines. So join me next time as we play out the Battle of the Solomons.